Let me tell you, the greatest undoing of the APC candidate is in his unguided and unsalutary method of trying to play God. Remember, we talk about the Lord of Bodilion, and he has an uncanny relationship with the king of Babylon, the city of corruption. Recall that Nebuchadnezzar said that he built the hanging gardens of Babylon, not God. And God warned him, be humble and give respect to me, and he refused. And God struck him and he became a human monkey. This is a presidential candidate who is arrogating to himself that he is God. He said, I single-handedly made Buhari president. That's a blasphemy in Quran and in Christianity. That was the first time he fell out with Babachiri Lawa. Babachiri Lawa said, don't play God. You are arrogant. And that was what fell out between him and Rawuf Aregbe Shola Ubeni, who said, you are playing God. And it is not supposed to be so. Remember what Rawuf said when the Oshun election was concluded. He was abroad. And he said, he quoted the Bible. All powers are ordained by God. And he gave it to whoever he wishes, including the business of men. But look at Bolatinubu claiming that he is God. Whoever votes for Bolatinubu is not a true Christian or a true Muslim because he has blasphemed the Quran and blasphemed the, the Bible. In Quran, they said, all powers belong to Allah, and Allah gave it to whomsoever he wishes. If President Buhari supports uh, Bolatinubu, he is not a true Muslim. Because Bola Tinubu has said he single-handedly made Buhari president, which is a blasphemy in Islam. That is what is killing them. They don't have respect for people. Baba Chirulawa told you that Tinubu is already feeling that he is the president because he is playing God. In the whole Yoruba land, he said it is his turn when it comes to Yoruba land. Who told him that? Ayo Adebanjo, the revered leader of Afeni Ferry, was in Ibadan, the capital of the Southwest, to tell the Southwest that Pito Ubi is the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So wherever you go to, in any pool you want to describe, Pito Ubi is the chosen person because he's a man of character, capacity, and competence. And his candidacy is built on the foundation of equity, fairness, and justice.